This is Twit. We're looking at a very beautiful uh, set of uh, displays and widgets, and and you're running an SQL query at the, in the top window, and it's graphically being represented uh, as a join in the middle window. And uh, you're, we're looking at the result of the query down at the bottom. Um, so you must you must have built in an SQL parser. Do you, are you, are you parsing SQL with SQL? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Um, we represent the uh, so the SQL grammar. We we use a simplified, a slightly simplified SQL grammar. Um, and under the hood, there's this whole grammar pipeline where uh, the um, EBNF of the SQL grammar is represented as tables in the database. And then you can read and write um, to those tables, and like you can do a, a two string um, to get the query out, and you can do mm -hmm. a, uh, a a data manipulation to get to make changes to that query, very granular changes. And so when you use that interface, it is going into these this table that mirrors the EBNF of our SQL grammar and uh, making tiny little data updates. So it's actually really simple to program this thing. Um, and it's a, it's a general purpose pipeline that allows us to do this. For, we can import an EBNF and then automatically generate all these tables and then, wow. uh, uh, you know, get a visualization of it uh, and very trivially build user interfaces to it that are bi-directional so that when you change the UI, uh, it changes the tables and then the, the string changes. And when you change the string, it changes the tables and then the interface changes. It's bi-directional, which as far as I know is, is not super common. Um, but like <laughs> datifying the grammar of SQL itself is, is what allowed us to do this. And we're also looking, uh, for those, again, who are in audio, you're missing out. You really need to look at the video on this thing. Or just go to his website because this, this demo video is there. We're also looking at a very beautiful, rich UI. Did you build that from scratch too? Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Ted, tell me more about that. What is that? Uh, that's a so um, that's the, uh, the the database represented as a, a sphere or as great circles on a sphere. So um, so every single table uh, is like the the underlying structure of of a database schema is is graph like in that uh, every single um, Table can foreign key to every single other table in the entire in the entire schema, and right. uh, graphs. Like one of our inventions was that graphs can be represented as uh, um, spheres rather than usually you see the points and lines that connect all the all the uh, the nodes and edges. Um, representing it as a sphere allows it to be uh, uh, continue to get denser. Uh, like one of the, it, this is kind of nerdy, but like. The properties of a of a great circle is that every great circle on a sphere crosses every single other great circle uh, exactly mm -hmm. twice, once on each side, no matter what direction you look at it from. And so uh, we can represent a graph as a sphere, and it's it's marginally uh, useful, but it's really pretty <laughs> and fun to, yeah. fun to mess with, you know.